Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. We're gonna look at a jam track now that's in the key of A and it uses the Dorian mode. Now, I put up a jam track last month that is reminiscent of Santana. It has the same chords, but a totally different groove behind it. So this gives you an opportunity to use your Dorian mode with an A minor, pentatonic, adding those extra two notes. So that five plus two. Five notes of the pentatonics plus two notes from your modes equals freedom. And in this case, because the first chord is an A minor seven, but then it goes to a D dominant seven. That note is why we would use a Dorian mode over a, an Aeolian, okay? Um, so, That's the funky Santana feel for, for the groove of that song. This is much slower. And let me hit the rhythm track so you can hear what this groove sounds like. So it's an A minor to a D7. Okay, it's a pretty quick change. A minor seven, D7. You can play bar chords, A minor seven, D seven. You can play open chords. And your Dorian looks like this. So if you have your minor pentatonic, we're adding those notes. All right, now if we play, and that's for your root six, if we go up to our root five, But there's the root, okay? So, let's dive in, jam a little bit, and it's all yours, okay? Now experiment. If you're mainly familiar with your pentatonic, start there, then add those extra notes in, and just take your time. And with any rhythm track, make sure that you feel the groove before you play anything, okay? I like to use my middle finger and thumb sometimes when I'm playing something that needs a little bit more um, of a, a, a statement as opposed to just a bunch of licks so I can get more texture. Add some vibrato and when I pick the string with my middle finger on my right hand, it gives me more um, inertia. Okay, so have fun with this. All right, remember, if you don't feel it, nobody feels it. So let's jam. <laughs> 